What are we up to now, Charlie? We're going to be going up the hill. Our freeze is getting a little bit low. I'm just going to be going up the hill and shooting a couple of young rams. Oh, they've cottoned on to us. We we're hoping to just drive up here and see them off the side of the road and shoot one. But yes, they know we're here now and they've all taken off down that end, but we're going to use the drone to herd them back to us. We're going to climb up the hill, give them a bit of a hazing, and then hopefully they're going to run back close to where we are, close to a track. We can knock one over, but first we've got to climb up this hill and uh, hide, hide in the bush. We're going to come to the top of the hill here and hide behind a tree and try to bring them down past us. We've got them in a pretty good position on the road. We should be able to get above them, look down on them and pick off a couple, hopefully. Uh, it pays to be a little bit quiet when you're hunting all the animals figure out that you're there. They've run on off it over the other side of the hill. Go. Shot. He's rolling. Oh, he's going to come all the way down to the road. So close. Pretty close though, look at that. Boys on the harvest. We're out of water, got to go find out why. Straight to the source. Hopefully it's just uh, an airlock or the stock have knocked one of the hoses off, but we'll drive up and trace it down and see if we can find out what's going on. I rung well up, his instructions were very vague. He said drive up over the cattle stock, past the shed, through a gate with chains on it, and then there'll be a driveway with a house and on that driveway there's a blue tap. Turn that off. Should fix your problem. Yeah. That's that ball cock he was talking about. No, bloody water's still not working. Right, I guess it's a case of starting at this end and working backwards. Oh, chickens in the garden, you little shit. What's he knocked over already? Oi, get out of here. The chickens have already cracked into the lettuce. They've already eaten the tops off all that lettuce. I don't know where they're laying eggs. I think they've actually stopped laying. Might have to get rid of them. Check the water tank. I guess that's empty. Because when Dob and I were up here, it was overflowing. There's stuff coming through this tap. Is it filling, is it? Yeah. Okay, so it sounds like our water was empty at this end, and now oh. the tank's filling. How full is it, bro? Bugger all. Like how, how much has it got? Maybe like that much. Aha, uh -huh, so there you go. So the water did cut off at the other end, and now the tank's filling up now. So we'll wait till the pressure builds up in the tank a bit, and then we'll turn our tap on. That should hopefully be enough to force the airlocks out. Oh, what's Ziggy got? See a chicken nest. 
So you get out of there. What's in there, bro? Go have a look, Charles. Something's so just pointing out something in there. Stupid dog. I don't think there's anything in there. All right, fingers crossed. That's fixed our problem. I think we're on the right track. We just have to wait for the pressure to build up again to take the airlocks out. Now oh, we're going to mount some honey to put in with our outer flower, lemon balm, grapefruit, lemon and mint cordial. Oh, and lemon verbena. Shouldn't have put grapefruit in, just saying. It's going to be delicious. Does the grapefruit make it taste a bit bitter? Good dog. Bloody chickens. Been eating my lettuces and all of the Brussels sprouts that I planted. Stop raining. It's been raining all day. Let's go get some chickens. There's the bloody chickens. Aren't sleeping in their chicken cage where I put them. I don't know where they are. It's a big property, this one too. Where are the chickens, Ziggy? Ziggy's got to be one of the doziest mongrels I know. Look, she doesn't know what she's looking for. Where are the chickens? She's so needy, she just wants to be patted all day, every day. Good girl. Come on. Uh, she's a hunting dog. She knows she's hunting. She just doesn't know what she's hunting. They could be bloody anywhere. Thank you, Isaac. And see, this is the box that they meant to sleep in. And they were sleeping here for the first couple of nights. Then they bug it off somewhere else. Definitely not in there. Good girl. Where is it, Ziggy? Where is it? I would have probably slept in there if I was a chicken. Oh look, I can put these over the bloody veggies. Well maybe I won't have to get rid of the chickens, just plant some more veggies and put these over. Sniffer hounds on the trail. All well, sniffer hounds not on the trail. Maybe I won't have to get rid of the chickens. Wouldn't mind finding out where they are though, because they're laying eggs somewhere, but bugger if I know where that is. Huh? Not in the pool enclosure. Really looking forward to getting my own place. Where are they, Ziggy? Quail. Quail in the apple tree. I'm bugger if I know where they are. On the woodshed. No, not under the woodshed. Goodness knows. Ah, oh, well. I'm kind of hoping to catch them tonight. I guess I'll just get those mesh rings and put them over the lettuces and the Brussels sprouts. I'm gonna go go for a ride in the motorbike tomorrow. Charlie's back home. I met Kristen in the middle of the mountains and gave Charlie to her and she's taking him home. So I'm gonna go look after the house day after tomorrow. Back to the coast. Kristen's gotta to go to Auckland for stuff so Tomorrow, motorbike. I'll catch up then. squawking it means she's just laid an egg haven't actually found the nest but I can hear her squawking so there she is where did she come from she must have been in here somewhere 
my god it's a jungle in there does anyone know what this herb is it's got a very sweet strong smell oh it smells delicious there's a lot of herbs around this property all right getting sidetracked here back to chicken hunting come on ziggy where's the eggs where is it where is it smart dog stupid dog all right it's got to be in here somewhere couple of balls lovely heart thingy is it in here somewhere oh my god it's a jungle in here yeah. not in there I wonder how the mushrooms are growing Lion's main mushies. God, Ziggy, you're supposed to be finding the eggs. <coughs> Problem is, if Ziggy finds the eggs, she's going to know where they are and then she'll just go and eat them. Oh, she's pointing. It's kind of egg shaped. I'm going to find out where they are. If I was a stoner, I'd have weed growing all over the place in here. It's probably how the last owners paid for the property, I'd say. Wadi Nimbin or something it's called. It's got a bit of a hippie name to it. What a score. No eggs, one spoon and a couple of balls. Back to the west coast, back home. So I'll see you at home. That's not actually home. It's going to be home for the next couple of days. How many of you fellas wear short shorts? Or how many of you fellas don't wear short shorts? Remember this place? How you doing? Good, eh? It's not that exciting. Calm down. Calm down. Stay down. Holy <laughs> crap. Stay down. Stay down, good girl. Calm down, calm down. Calm down, it's not that exciting. Calm down. Oh, good day, Ziggy. You guys can have a bit of a fight there. Come on. Oh, she looks, she's laid a turd right in the middle of the bloody walkway. One day I'm going to get a house just like this. Oh, it's bloody Christmas. Let's take the kids to get a Christmas tree. Been working on, working on jet boat, inflatable jet boat. Finding out why it's not running properly and I found the problem. Just in there, I'm not sure if you can see that, there is a little bit of fluff. I've just got to get the rest of it out and then hopefully she'll be away again. Hopefully that's done it. Pretty nice boat and air compressor. down and make sure that this jet boat is going to go because we've got a mission coming up with M2 Overland next weekend where we're going to take Anthony Nitro, Nitro, Nitrous, Nitro, Nitrous, Anthony, Ant, Anthony, that guy for a mission. Stuff. I'm getting a Christmas tree for the fam when you're not actually. Tough time never lasts, sonny. <laughs> oh man, he's a hard shot. I'm just going to get a marginal one, one that's kind of crappy, and then she can go and get one too. That way I get the pleasure of getting a Christmas tree with Sonny, and Kristen does as well. Jack didn't want to come, and Charlie's lost in space. Don't know where Charlie went. Out and about. Man about town. 
perfect place for a Christmas tree because again, I thin these little ones out anyway. Uh, we need one that's not too big. Not oh, look at those ones, Thank ladies and gentlemen. I think we have. I, I was supposed to get a crap one so Chris can get a good one, but I'm just going to get one of these because they look kind of good. All right, here we go. Some fellow just drove past us on the road and he looked at me and I looked at him and I grabbed the sword out of the back of the truck and he grinned and I grinned. He's doing exactly what we're doing. Heisting a Christmas tree. What a dag. Perfect. Get in there. Let's go, bro. They'll never know. Sunny cut his mullet off. Because I want my mullet to be like you. Because I cut my mullet off. Well, you still got your mullet. It's kind of there. Yeah. You still got your mullet. Not quite as long and flying as it was. It's still there though. <laughs> hey, Ziggy. Hey, oi, how you doing? Look out, mate, look out. Christmas tree coming through. Good dog. Ah, yes, I'll put it in the bucket of water. What a score. Oh, not bad. Good size. Get out of bed. I've got a busy day though. I've got to drive to Christchurch. Then got to go back up to Cockroach. So he was stuck doing Christchurch. That's first. We're going to go Ealing. Ready to go? Yeah. Right into your face. Oh, you're going to bed? Yeah. Heel bait. Let's go. I see something down there. Oh, they're wiggling away. Away from the coming. Yep, pull them out. That was heavy. Good shot. What does you that got them good. Yeah, That's it, you got it, nice. Bucket and I got it. You're still in bed, Charlie. No, Holy I'm crap. Deformed. Cool. Good job. Alright, I'm gonna leave the eel in the sink for Kristen to deal with. <laughs> Bugger off back to Kaikoura. So I've chopped up the, um, the octopus into small chunks about that size and I've given them a rinse and put them in the tray and put them in the oven for about 20 or so minutes just to let all the juices come out of them. And now I'm going to put the octopus back in and put it back in the oven for about an hour or so just to crisp it up a little bit. How was it? Good. Real good, eh? Mm -hmm. So good. So good. So crunchy and chewy at the same time. Perfect. Good, eh? Oh, back in Kaikoura. 
Yes, it's lovely over here. It's a bit rainy. Well, I had to cut the vlog there because I'm editing the Stewart Island bit at the moment. Still uploading footage because I've got my phone back. Yeah, it's bloody awesome. Managed to fix it. So thanks for watching. Thanks for your patience. I know you're hanging out for that Stewart Island bit, but it's in the works. It's in the works. It's meant to be raining today. I was looking forward to a rainy day and some office work, but I think the sun's about to come out. Have a bloody good weekend. Toodle pip. Good dog.